All right, all right. Hello, everyone. This is Josh, also known as Yashu. You're just uh, tuning in to, I think, the to like another episode of like TLY Talks and with the whole discussion of TLY and Yaman and all that, too. I think this is either, I think, yeah, like maybe like episode like 97, I think, too. Like, yeah, episode 97. So, yeah, you can get this like on all platforms Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Buzzsprout, much more. We have it like on Patreon, you know. So basically, when it's like up on Patreon too, that's like early access for people to check it out. You could sign up to become like a member, get like different tiers. You know, different tiers come with like different like offerings and such like that too. But yeah, definitely uh, tap into support and all that. So yeah, we're just gonna get it started. You know, like we have Yam back. You know, Yam, like welcome back, man. It's been a minute. You know. Yeah, brother. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a while. I really do. I really do miss uh some of the videos that we have done. Um. Yeah, bro. I'm. I'm glad that you brought me back to your, uh, to your podcast. Yeah, and I got some. Uh, to be honest, I got some uh, interesting, interesting fact, interesting information. I like to share with you. Yeah, man. If you want to like share it right now, like definitely tap in. You know, like I think it's been like really like a minute since we did this. Though, like I know we have like a lot of like stuff going on with life, everything like that too. Yeah. But you know, consistency is key too. So like I'm gonna try my best to be consistent like with what we have going on so yeah 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 for sure you know and for for the people that don't know me um uh i go by real talks yt you know i got some uh videos on my channel some uh some you know for especially for you guys you guys are into crypto like you know the crypto world you know what i'm saying and i and i haven't been uh consistent yet but i did fall back because of some some issues, some issues, but I will, I will be going back. Thanks for, uh, uh, Liz Yash, you know, bringing me back to the, uh, to the YouTube world, you know, thanks for him. I will, I will continue, man. You already know what it is. Yeah. Hundo P, you know, and like to even like have like the whole, like uh, a podcast, a co-host show for a bit too, because this is like our third one so far this year. Like, I don't, for me within the past couple of months, I've dealt with like a lot of stuff too, you know, going out of the country, just, getting back to like what i've started and all that too just creating more content and you know paying my dues like doing whatever i have to do and you know like having this back you know like it's like uh, much needed too and like i feel like we did miss like on a lot of topics like since then too but i feel like we do have like some dope uh, topics that uh, we could uh, talk about now and all that and like one of them uh, just like being like the whole like brawny uh, james situation too because i think uh after the season like he just got drafted to la and all that i think he was like the second round draft pick and all that too i think the first pick like didn't do as much but like i think the second draft pick it's just kind of something that happened so yo i wanted to get like your thoughts on that you know so uh on on thoughts of sorry sorry i, I didn't get the last part like uh brawny being drafted to like the lakers and all that Oh yeah, that's that's LeBron's son, right, Bronny James? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> man, to be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I really think, I really think it's 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 because of the hype, you know. It's because that he's LeBron's son, you know. what I'm saying he's he's the son of the the greatest basketball player that's ever lived. Okay, let's be honest. All right, yeah, shoot, sure, let's let's be honest. Like to be honest with you, I I I have I have watched him, but. The only reason why he was getting hyped and stuff is because he was LeBron's son, but he was never good. Like he was not good at all. Like there was there was other players. I don't know because me, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I did watch some high school. I I did watch. I do watch some high school ballers, like some scouts that like you know look on like the greatest stars. And I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Okay, yeah, he could dunk. Like right, he could fly. Like you know, what I'm saying he's 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 really solid, but. He he's not like a ooh ah like you know what I'm saying type of the only thing that why he was a ooh ah player because he was like I said LeBron's son. But will he do good in the Lakers? Like will he do okay? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Like I really don't. Unless unless LeBron says to the ref and the coach, yo, this is my son. You know what I'm saying? Let let him play. Like, let him, like, you know what I'm saying? Let him take control of the game and don't touch him. That's the only way. But I'm not going to lie to you, bro. There's going to be people out there, yo, this is LeBron Sum, let's punk him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's take him out. But he's not. He's not. Like, I, 
I've I I I've watched some of the highlights on the Lakers. The man only what four points, five points. The guy that Lakers picks, I don't know if you know him, but he's a tall white guy, bro. He's like six nine, six ten. That guy's gonna be crazy. The man was averaging 19, 20 points. But when he picks, okay, I understand, right? LeBron was second round. Sorry, not LeBron. Bronny was second round 55 pick. You know? We don't know, right? We don't know. Because we can't judge now. Because I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you know. You know Nicola? Uh, I think so, yeah, yeah. From, uh, from, uh, from, uh, Denver Nuggets, the center. Yeah, jo Joker, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Joker, right? This guy was the same, like, same, right? So we don't know, bro. Uh, to be honest with you, what do you think, man? Like, what, like, what do you think about it? This is going to be one of the strongest takes I actually have. But I think that she, he shouldn't even be, like, drafted at all. At, you know, mainly because of the whole situation where he had, like, I think a heart attack or some sort of, like, you know, I think a blood attack, like, around, like, his Yeah, body. heart attack, Like, I heart think, attack. yeah, 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 yeah. And basically, like, even, like, because, like, he started, like, his first year of college, like, within that past season and all that. And I feel like there has to be me. There has to be like more done, like in terms of like the conditioning and like everything else too, because like you know usually for your college your college years, you know when playing college ball, you do have to condition to being to be like one of the best players, or like at least to be like draftable, like in a sense too. You know, it could take like maybe up to two, three years, maybe four, like depending on the skill set too. I think uh, with Bronny, I think they just like drafted him like way like too quick, and Too mainly, quick, bro. Too yeah, quick. yeah, because. Yo, bro, yo, broski, yo, broski. The man was not, he was not doing like, he was not putting numbers. Like, what the frick? The man should at least, if I were him, if I were him, right, I would put at least two years, like two, three years to have like a solid. The only reason why they picked him, I'm not gonna lie, bro. The man's really athletic. Like, he's really athletic. But like you said, he had the heart problem. This guy was out for one, two days. So that should be scary. Like, that should be really scary. Like, really, really scary. So... Yeah, not exactly. And I think because, like, nepotism, like, played a part in that situation, too. Like, I know with Bronny, with J.J. Redick, who's now, I think, the head assistant coach or the head coach for the Lakers, too. Like, that's all, like, LeBron's pick because, like, J.J. Redick was, like, a part of, like, LeBron's, like, the shot podcast. And I think, like, Bronny because of the Sun thing, too. So I felt like they're just trying to, like, the GM and, like, the other people, like, for the Lakers are trying to do everything to help Le LeBron be at his like best and all that too. But I feel like that there should have been like other choices to focus on other areas to so just like developing like other players that would, that are like on the team too, like with Rui and, you know, also with uh, D'Lo and like a lot of like these like, other play players too, because like, you know, they didn't really cop to like the next several rounds of like the playoffs and all that. Like I think um they were, in like i think one of the seeds to be like in the eastern like the western semi-conference and all that too and then basically they didn't make that cut and all that and just basically <laughs> it's like a lot of like factors too like i felt like their peak was in 2020 like within the pandemic and all that too and then everything else just kind of like spiraled like in a sense too it's just like you know, they're not really trying in their way because, like, they tried getting, like, super teams and all that with Russ, with Tristan Thompson, with, you know, with, I think, Melo and, like, all these other players, too. And then they tried doing, like, other things, too, like, Max and contracts for, like, LeBron, like, getting Bronny, getting JJ. Like, would this be that point where it's going to work in that way? Or do you think, like, there are, like, other methods, too? Like, it's, would LeBron have to, like, go to, like, another city like whether it's like Chicago, whether it's Detroit, whether it's like the next two, or would he have to just kind of like suck it up and like retire and all that, or just do like these like last few years and then just call it like a day and all that. So there is like a lot of like factors to be honest. Uh yeah, a lot of factors, a lot of factors. Uh, that will be going to this next season, but next, but this next season is gonna be a lot of hype, a lot of, a lot of emotions, right? Because yes, we we are experiencing something that has never uh been seen in our generation and also, um, uh, the last generation, right? We have never seen a player play with it, their son. Not, not sorry, not like I'm not trying to diss other players, but at a high level. Like, think about it. We're, right now, we're watching a high class player.
that might go down considered the greatest player of all time, bringing his son, his first son, to the Los Angeles Lakers, okay, playing with him, right? Maybe his last or maybe his, who knows, the second last season, right? But to be honest with you, in my opinion, before I go to the politics, but in my opinion, I really think he might be playing for the D League, right? To the G League, D League. He might not even play for the Lakers. Let's be honest. Like he's not, he's not gonna play, bro. Like, oh man, I don't know. Like I don't know how to explain it. Cause there's so many players before him, like on the team, and that, or also in a D League that could probably put more numbers than him, right? So he might not even play first season. He might go into the D League, you know, start getting comfortable, you know, get to the system, you know what I'm saying? Get his numbers up, this, this, this. But being LeBron's son, that's all scratched. Cause that guy has power, bro. He's an all time scoring champion. Okay. He passed Kareem. Imagine that's that's for for us, that's huge. Like for this generation, seeing some someone score that much points, that's that's ridiculous. I still cannot believe it till now. Cause I, I, I don't I didn't I don't think I told you, but my favorite player is Kobe, and he, Kobe was going for that. Some people say he was going for Jordan, but I really believe that he was going for the all-time scoring champion. You know what I'm saying? But LeBron passing all-time scoring champion with all that critics, all that hate. Think about it. that guy was the most hated player in the game. The most hated player. The guy that said he was not gonna he doesn't score. He's not a clutch player. He's a pass ball player, right? Going for an all-time score, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's like hush. Like, no one can see nothing no more. No one. And then on top of that, bringing his son, yo, I'm not going to lie to you, brother. If this guy if this guy wins a championship next year, damn, that'd be cold-blooded. Cold-blooded, bro. Yeah. What do you think? Do you, do you really think he's going to be a, winning a champion next year? I feel like there's a 50-50 chance and all that too. Like I think there are like other teams that are poised to like become like the best that could be. I think like Dallas might have more of a better chance too because they have Clay, they have um Kyrie, Luca. So I think the that's like one contender that they would have to face too. I think like we're gonna get like another like Denver Boston situation again too, because of how Tatum is like putting in that work and then like even uh, with uh, Denver with like how like they're handling like other like situations too even and with I the heard, whole, I heard, like, I heard, yeah sorry sorry to interrupt I heard I heard they got Westbrook too Denver I don't know if you heard about that yeah I think that's also like another good advantage too I think um it could hone into like his abilities too because I think with Russ like when you see him with like other like power players too that have been in the game for so long like let's say like the Clippers, like let's say, like the Lakers with the Thunder, you know, it's always that magnetic like competition that you have to go like one up over the other and all that too. Like I think with Denver, because like Jokic, he's like popular, but like not popular like in a sense too that he's compared to like LeBron, Kyrie, like other people too. So maybe that's like why Russ like won't take advantage of that and all that. Like I think like he'll just like hone it in to work together, just like how Kyrie is to like Dallas and all that too. Because when you have someone like uh, KCP, when you have someone like Jamal Murray, when you have uh, like I think uh, Evan Fournier and all that, and like all these like other players too. Like I think uh, that would be like an interesting uh, situation where Russ could take take his like advantage in with like Denver too so I feel like Denver would also have like another chance too I think uh the Bucks might have like another, another chance too um I I'm assuming that uh Dame's like still playing for them uh so hopefully that could be like another good advantage to see and all that uh the Knicks like I think like they also have like another chance too Minnesota and hey, with the Lakers like there Memphis, should be Memphis Memphis right Memphis. yeah Memphis, yeah Memphis. Yeah, but I feel like even for their season, like this upcoming year, I think Jaw would have to have like a lot to prove too, because like he got out of suspension and then had like an injury that costed like the like the chance of being at the playoffs too. So like Jaw would have like a lot to prove, like even like holding the team on his like own and all that. So we have to see how it works. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun, bro. It's gonna really be really cool, really interesting, but. 
I'm telling you, we might see some disappointments. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Yeah, we, we're really we're really gonna see some disappointments, and we might even see some sort surprises. Yeah, I think the the best kept thing is that I think for Bronny, they're gonna put him in G League first to see how it works, and then if they feel like he's like good enough too, then they'll put him like in the bench show for a bit too the until he becomes like a good like main player for like the starting five and all that. Yeah. Worst case scenario is that if he messes up the G League, you know, like take some time to kind of go to like other teams or play like in different countries, see how it works and if it works, it works, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. For sure. So yeah, I want to do get like into like another uh, topic as well too for a bit. So Donald Trump versus like Kamala Harris. So Woo! for, pe- That's for high. people, <laughs> for That's people, high. yo yo yo, that is the most interesting thing right now in television. The most interesting thing, brother. I'm telling you, because me, like I said, I don't watch TV. I'm not into politics. I don't watch the news. Right. But that is the most interesting thing I've ever witnessed in my life. Because think about it. It's real, right? It's dangerous. Too much action. Adventurous. And it might go down. One of the greatest, greatest entertainment that we ever witnessed in real life. It's Because think about it. It's not a movie, fam. We're not watching a, this this thing right now. We think Like, when we watch it, like we think it as a joke. But these guys, <laughs> they got authority. Like, they got power, right? So right now when we watch these stuff, it's like it's like me personally, because I don't know. It's like it's like me when I watch it, I'm like, is this serious? But it's actually serious, bro. It's insane, man. It's insane, dog. And it's so sad because I'm from Canada, right? So it's not like we should not be like, ooh, like get excited, but it's like, you know, cause these guys, whoever is in charge the next, is that's it, bro. We're fucked. Like you're not, we could be like well, good or bad, like you know what I'm saying? It's really good because these guys like America like controls everything in the world, man. Believe it or not, people think that they don't control everything, but they control everything. Yeah, no, right? that's facts. And I mean with the whole Joe Biden situation of him stepping down to focus on himself too, like I think that was like kinda like one of the smartest moves that he did because like if he did continue on, like that would have been like a little bit worse to like if he did like if he does like win and you know, if something were to happen to. So having Kamala on, like, that was, like, the best decision, too. But I feel like it's going to be a 50-50 situation, too, because with Trump, like, he's, like, getting that leverage from other black voters that are talking about him. So, like, you'll see it from, like, Aiden Ross and, like, Sexy Red and, like, all these other people, like, co-signing Trump, too. Kanye to, West. With- Kanye West. Kanye West, too, and I mean, even with the whole Kamala situation, too, because now, like, people are talking about, you know, having, there's, like, a lot of people, like, having, like, this whole support for Kamala, but, like, I'd have to see it, like, in real time and all that, like, with people, like, actually tapping into, it's just kind of like this Hillary situation, too, because you would see it in real time, too, with the supporters with Hillary, but I feel like I have to see more for Kamala, too, because there are, like, a lot of, like, factors involved, too, like, because, of her past allegations of like putting certain people in jail to her race and like other factors too, even with Trump's situation too. So there's like a lot of factors to play too, but I feel like it's going to be like a whole 50, 50 situation too. And like, there are going to be like different effects on like how it's going to happen too with Donald Trump. Like he has like uh, one, I think one of these like bills where it's going to limit the focus for black people to, kind of have like certain rights to you know like the idea of like critical race fear you like not being taught in schools and other factors to like harsher sentences for people with like non-violent offenses and like you know full immunity for like police officers and like all that type of stuff too to even just like other factors as well too like i think um like they were trying to have like that whole like bible like in america to kind of talk about like the u.s like presidency and all that too like that's what like trump did too so that's like one factor like i'm kind of like examining uh, right now but yeah it's uh kind of 50 50 right now you know so yeah yeah bro oh, bro man yo do you really think do you I, okay, I have a question like do you really think it was right or appropriate for uh for them to take out biden and then camilla taking charge do you think that was do you think that was right 
I feel like they had to, like for, for the Democratic Party, like I feel like they had to make the best decision possible because there were moments that Biden like kind of slipped up, like in some situations too, you know, such as like reading like the teleprompter and falling asleep at times, like when yeah. Trump was speaking or when someone else would have speak and all that. And yeah. like even like memory situations too where Biden would kind of say something different than what he would have usually said too. So like I felt like for that purpose too, they had to think of a damage control esque situation to kind of save Biden from like any like feedback or any criticism and all that too. So him just like removing himself from the from the presidency and all that too for the election, like that would have been a smart to move too. And yeah. with having like Kamala on, like I feel like I knew that Kamala was gonna be put on rather than like other people too, because I've even read like on the internet that I think Gavin Newsom was supposed to run against uh, Trump and like all these like other people too. And I feel like when but we're looking think, at but a- I have a question. no, but sorry, sorry, sorry. But do you think that was correct? Cause think about I- it, bro. Think about it, think about it. It's like saying like this, right? Like let's let's say it's a basketball. It's like saying, Oh, uh LeBron was sleepy or he was tired or he was injured and they subbed him and they have another they brought like another player right do you think they could have just brought the, like another person that was leading as a democrat or like do because i don't know because me personally for putting kamala harris i don't know i don't know uh regards to like american politics if that's like because you know because Right now, they're saying the Democrats are really doing like things that are not right. Right, they're they're doing some legal actions like which is not which is not right. You know, this is what the Republicans are saying, and this is what some of the people are saying. Right, yeah. I understand Kamala Harris is the vice president, the vice president to Biden, but for for bringing for bringing Biden down, right, they should have just let Donald Trump win. In my case. I'm just saying, in my case, because Trump was leading, right? Trump was leading in every aspect of the po- of, of the poll. I don't know. I don't know if you watch it, but I've been watching the numbers. He was leading in every aspect, right? So me uh, thinking, oh, bringing Kamala Harris, I really think that's like, what do you call it? A cheeky move, bro. Because yeah. first of all, she's a lady, right? She's a colored lady. Okay, and on top of that, she's a vice president to to Biden, right? When it comes to now, when it comes to this population of the world, right, of especially in the situation that we're in, you know, what I'm saying the human rights, the freedom, and stuff like that. I really think that's like a move where they planned it, right? It's like. It's like they planned that to happen, right? So what, right? So, okay, right? Because we're colored, right? So, so what? She's a colored person. Oh, we should be happy. No. Like, where's the last colored person that came in charge that would do good for for the minority? Fuck the color, but, like, the minority of the people, like, the minority of, of the world, right? We should not be excited. Fuck that shit, bro. Like, why should we, why should we be excited? Oh, She's she's like she's one of us, and on top of that, she's a lady. So she 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 will be caring for us, you know. This this this. But I'm not gonna lie to you, Roski. This is all politics. This is what all the. It's like, man, you know they they say it's not good to like overthink and kind of like this thing on the positive. But when you think about it, bro, they control everything, bro. They they really yeah. control everything. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. now they're saying, oh, Obama. The last time Obama was president, he hasn't done nothing good for. For, for the minority people nothing fam nothing we were just blinded because he was the first black president of the world right he's the first black president of the world we, we were blinded we were excited like wow our brother got our brother got elected he is now he is now the ruler of the world you know what i'm saying we, we got excited yeah 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 but fuck man we're still in the same damn situation we still are just, we, we we still are just suffering. We still are here mentally fucked. Like it's 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 not right, bro. 
yeah like there are like a lot of like factors to like even like think about it too like i know with Camilla's situation too because i know like for most of the policies uh to going on it is like helping towards like people like within like israel and also within other communities too but i feel like it's like a win or lose situation too because like you're not gonna get like anything from like either one to with trump or with kamala and all that like i feel like that there are like many factors that do like that are involved too because within like joe biden's administration with the De democratic administration during the time like they had like full support of like israel like from out time of his like presidency and so like now and all that like especially with what's going on like in palestine and all that too so that's how a lot of people detracted away from biden and put more of their support yeah but him. but i'm not gonna lie to you bro it, it won't matter either one either one of them gets elected they're still in it's, it's still gonna be a problem you know what i'm saying it's just yeah. that it's just that with donald trump right when, when 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 you listen to donald trump he gives you that real stuff like he doesn't he doesn't fake like that's why people are scared of him especially the white folks they're scared of him because he tells it to you like what's up, like what's real. You know what I'm saying? You tell straight up, like, oh, I hate you, or I love you, or this, this, this. You know what I'm saying? For a young generation, yo, that's awesome. That's cool. Cause that's what we see in everyday life. Like when we go outside, when we work, when we chill, like you know what I'm saying? When we hang out, like we see that every day. You know what I'm saying? So for yeah. that, for that, for being in power, for the rich people, like for the people on top, they're scared that they're they fear that. Because that's like the younger generation. Like, that's the young generation what, you know what I'm saying? What we see. Like, what we what we experience, you know? But I'm not going to lie to you. What's going on in the Middle East, it is the most saddest thing I have ever witnessed, bro. Right? I, I think we talked about this on our last video, right? It is the most saddest thing that me personally have witnessed. Because think about it. Like I said, a certain group came to Israel, attacked. Now Israel is basically not, this is not war. It's basically a genocide. It's killing all of the Palestinians because of this certain group. Bro, excuse me. Because of this certain group came to Israel, right? Attacked. And Israel got fed up. And they're basically wiping the whole, the whole Gaza, bro. It's not even like, oh, this is no. They're basically cleansing. It's called, we call it like cleansing, bro. Which in my eyes, and which I, like the, what you call it? Like the, the book of war, that is not what war is. War is a strategize. You have to be strategized. You have to attack certain parts and this, this, this. But when you call this, this is called a genocide. And this is not called war. This is like total like total destruction. You know what I'm saying? And of course, America, America, yes, America is part of it because it is helping Israel, right? Right. And it's also trying to work things out in the most dangerous way. But Broski, don't you think, right? In the Middle East, you have like Saudi Arabia, you have what do you call it? Iran, you have so many Arab countries, right? And that don't you think they should have helped? Instead of, yeah. right? Because they're not helping. They're not. They're not helping their Muslim brothers, bro. They just. They're just watching them suffer. So do you think, like, let's like be honest. Like this is a, like this is an honest thing. Like, don't you think they should be helping them? If they really care, like, if they really care, if they really, like, especially if they really believe in God, right? If they really believe in God, and f like, forget about all oh, or oh, what it's gonna start World War Three. It's gonna start this, this, this. But trust me, if they do that, bro, everyone will follow through. The only reason why America and them and all those country, powerful countries, they're they're uh, they're on side with Israel because of this situation. They're not helping them. They're not they're not helping their own brothers, fam. This is this is the reason, and this is the, and this is written like everything you see here when you like cause for because you know like for growing up right because me I'm considered. Um, like a new guy, like a young guy, when it comes to his politics stuff. So when I when I talk about this, um, there might be some emotion to it. But they they will always tell me, yo, 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 this is like this has been this been this been happened long long time ago. Yo, bro, yo, Yashu, this been going on for seventy three years, fam. This Middle East stuff. Yeah. 
73 years, bro. Almost now it's gonna be 100 years. If this continues for the next 20 years, 100 years, yeah. No, like I know, like the whole Palestine situation, like even with like other countries like Syria, Iraq, Iran, it's been like this since like the 1900s too. Like they were trying to like invade each other like from time and all that, and like a lot of factors like do come in like and like even as you said too with like Christian folks and all that too. You know, with Christians with Muslims, like America and like Canada and England that had roots within Christianity within like since time within like the British like, revolution and all that too like it would have made sense to help a country like you know a Christian Muslim based country like uh, Palestine too and like provide like whatever resources that they can but like the ideologies and like how they view Christianity how they like view like Islam and like other factors like don't align because like when you look at like America Canada the UK like France, all these other countries, it's either Catholicism or like fake Christianity, you know, some like you know, that you're a God fearing person, but you hardly go to like church every other day and all that too. Whereas with like these like other countries like with Palestine, with Syria, with Iraq, with Iran, with other countries too, like a lot of them are God fearing people, like in a way too, where they go to church where they believe in the word of God, they believe like in Allah and like other factors too. So it is kind of like a contradictory like situation on how like those like Western countries like view people like within like religion and all that too. So it's crazy. Yeah. So so when you so when you think about it, and it's so it's so scary, right? Because me, yes, it is. It is scary because when you when you when you think when you think it like that, I don't know if you watch some of the guys like the governors, the American government. They will literally tell you, "Yo, this is a a spiritual war." Right? This is like a religious war. Right? Yeah, exactly. So when you when you for example, when you see it like World War Two, what's the reason why World War Two started? Because of what? The Holocaust, right? Yeah. Because of because because of the uh, of the slaves and, and what happened? The the whole world shook it up. You know what I'm saying? Even Ethiopia entered that World War Two. Right? Think about yeah. it, bro. Even Ethiopia it, into that World War Two and 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 destroyed that 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 terrible that terrible um what do you call it that cleansing of the of the of the Israelites you know of of the blacks you know what I'm saying of of all the people that was of 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 that that was enslaved because of that but now it's like would they do that you know what I'm saying it might not be it might not be for it might not be for Israel, but you know, it might be for the Muslim this time. So when is that gonna happen? And some say yes, we are gonna push into World War Three. Yeah. And like even with Canada right now, like that is like also like another situation that I am seeing too, because I feel like they are like picking and choosing sides on who to help, who to support to, like even like with Justin Trudeau. Like as you see it with like immigration, as you see it with his connectivity with like Israel. Even though Canada like has like one of the more bigger like Muslim like populations of like all time, rather than like anything with like Judaism or Christianity too and all that. So like, how do you even like feel about the Canadian like politics uh, right now going on? Like even with Trudeau and like Polyev and like all these like other people and all that. Uh, I don't know. When it comes to can uh, Canada government, uh, the only thing I'm experiencing is high inflation. So everything is getting really expensive. Like, for example, like food prices, gas prices, you know what I'm saying? The way of living, like buying, trying to buy a car, trying to buy a house and stuff like that. I really think, I really think, I really think, I really think it's, it's getting really, really expensive, to be honest. I think that's the only reason. But other than that, I mean, nothing has changed. Other than everything getting high, like high, high, like really expensive, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause and... of course, when it comes to politics, like we're still under, like we're like we're not in it. Like of course we're in the bank country, but we're still basically like, if for example, if America go do something or the Europe go do something, Canada has to do it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like oh we have no bro. 
Yeah, no, that's facts. And I mean, like, a lot of factors that do come to play, too, with the whole, like, carbon tax situation, too, because I know with uh, the Liberal Party, like, they're very strong on having carbon tax, you know, for the environment and for, like, other stuff, too, which is, like, infecting the way, like, food and, like, everything else with the pricing, how it's, like, so, like, inflated nowadays, too, and how the conservatives are mainly against, like, in that sense, too. There are, like, other factors, you know, such as, you know, privatizing, like, you know, groceries, privatizing, like, businesses, too. And, like, you do see that with, like, alcohol and, like, other stuff being brought into, like, actual, like, convenience stores rather than, you know, stores that are more, like, provincial-based, too, like, with your Dominions, with your metros, with, you know, your LCBOs, all that type of stuff, too. So there are, like, many factors that come, come to play, too, like, even with immigration, with the idea of like getting a job too because like one of the biggest complaints uh, nowadays is that you know the indians are taking over the jobs like in toronto and all that and other parts of like ontario that it's not like a young white or black high school student like working those jobs a lot of them are from like india or like the philippines or other countries like that too and like that's what brings this like, this, like weird like collective like rage of that too and like just a lot of like other factors uh too such as like you know, crime and, like, even homelessness, like, in Canada and, like, Ontario and other parts, too, even with the whole, like, fentanyl, drug crisis, like, in smaller cities, too. So there are, like, a lot of, like, factors that come to play in, like, how to, like, resolve it, like, in certain ways, too, because now your Tim Hortons and, like, your McDonald's is, like, a mental health facility rather than, like, a place to sit down, eat, grab food and all that, too, because now you have to know other ways to, like, de-escalate situations and how to get things to stop from happening and all that too so there are like a lot of factors yeah that's that, that is that is that is true that that is true but like i said i really do i really do hope uh canada trying to find a way in order to fix this um this inflation like you know this this high inflation because think about it bro before like going going to, going to eat at a small place it's like oh nice right but now going to Going to eat at McDonald's, it's like going to a classy restaurant, bro. Yeah. Like, yo, bro, it's like it's like going to Jack Axter's or going to like at a four star, three star restaurant. And it's so expensive, bro. Like now a burger is like ten bucks. It used to be five bucks. Half price. Imagine yeah. it went up by ten bucks, fam. That's freaking ridiculous. Yeah. What yeah. the hell, bro? And then on top of that, add large fries, add a freaking drink on that. That's like what? That's a combo at that's a combo at uh Sulis Joe's, bro. Yeah. And you could like see the same thing too for like a mom and pop restaurant too. Because like for those restaurants, now they're charging 20, 30 bucks just for like the whole meal itself too, you know, just like with the burger, fries, like drink, like even 40 bucks sometimes too. And like a lot of it comes to like agriculture, like as yeah. connected with like the whole carbon tax uh, situation too, because like now like crops can't grow as like faster like livestock can't be produced as much too because now they have to like kind of force feed it too rather than do other, other like factors too and like even like the way like on how like livestock is like processed too because you'll have like the halal way of like kind of following that process versus the non-halal way so you're looking at like affordability costs too so that's why like more halal products are more expensive than like non-halal products too so many factors that do come to play and all that so yeah that's true that's true yeah but like i think the election either is going to be next year or the year after but who do you oh, have in like Ele mind election oh canada election yeah yeah um i don't know i have a question can can trudeau still win again can, can he still be elected i feel like he still has a chance because like i think that's the thing with the whole like british commonwealth too so basically you know, even if you win, like, another, like, election, like, that's still, like, another four years, too. So, Trudeau won, I think, in 2015, and then I think won in, like, 2019 or something like that, too, and then had, like, an emergency election in 2021. So, 2025, which is, like, next year, like, that's going to be the deciding factor on, you know, if he wins, like, another, like, election, like, moving forward and all that, too. I feel like in terms of the support system going on, I feel like people are going to lean toward like lean more towards like Pierre Polyev based on his viewpoints and everything else too. Like I think with Canada, it is becoming more conservative too. So I do definitely see like that lane like moving forward too, because 
of the year is spent with like Justin Trudeau. But there are like other benefactors, like if he does like have like a liberal like support like in that sense too. So we'll see how it goes, you know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. It will be it will be interesting. But like I said, I really do hope the next person that comes in charge, the next person that leaves um Canada will probably, you know, do something with this with this high prices. Yeah, no, for sure. That's facts, man. And um, I want to get like into more of a softer like piece of content uh, for a bit too. So I don't know if you know like the person like in Young Dundas Square, like by like the name of like Long Tendo. He's like popular, popular like on TikTok and all that. So long, long Tendo. Shit. Yeah. Oh man, I didn't long Tendo situation. I think that's yeah. What I, could, I I, I I'll, oh, I'll you, actually you, yeah. You you could, you could go first. You could go first. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna share the screen right now. So I'll actually play like a little video that is like kinda like popular like with Long Tendo. So give me a sec. Oh, that's him? Yeah. Is he, is he from Toronto? I yeah. Think, yeah, I don't think I... I think the, the last... Hold on. The... Yeah, I think that's the one I, I missed. Long Tendo. I can't hear him. Oh, give me a sec. Uh, can you hear now? No, I can hear you, but I can't hear. I'm just going to change the audio for a bit, too, just uh, for my speakers. So uh, can you hear now? Yeah, I can hear you, but not the uh, video. Yeah, I'll just uh, replay the video again, too, so that I think... Uh, It'll kind of grab that audio for a bit too. So, let me see. Nope. Oh, shoot. Give me a sec. Okay, what, don't worry. What happened to him? Like, is he good? Uh, so, what happened is that... Um, so he was like physically uh, jumped. Uh, so there the were like rumors of him uh, being attacked. Uh, in a way to like either like by the guy in the left too who's like a guy like by like the name of like city boy jj and then um there were other rumors circulating that he fell from a scooter and broke his like teeth and all that so i could actually show i think but, like, but, but, but what does he do what does he do so basically he has like the speaker on his head too like he's like more of a popular like tiktok creator too like in toronto that does like the whole like spinning video and like random dance moves too oh uh rumors have like autism and like other factors as well so um but yeah like in a in a recent situation too so basically he was jumped for some reason for like no reason and then basically they try to cover up other rumors that he fell from a scooter and all that type of stuff too even with the family of L long tendo saying like it was like false knowing that and saying that he was like actually like jumped and all that too so there was like a lot of like factors and all that you know by who by who by city j by yeah the guy city boy jj and like i think some other people as well too so oh sure yeah but uh i don't know if you have any i don't know if you want to give like any thoughts on that like i don't know if you're in too deep on that so yeah to be honest with you like um i really don't know long time though so i can't really say say anything on Long Tendo, but yeah, if he is a Toronto, a Toronto, what do you call it, entertainer? Yeah, I hope he continues doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? I hope he stays safe. And yeah, bro. Yeah, man. But, no, but I think, but I think, yeah, but I never, I never, I never, like, I never heard about him. He's like, right now, I, I'm checking his TikTok and it says like he got like 12 million likes. So he's, it's a big, he's a, like, he's a big guy. Yeah, he is very like popular, like, popular like on TikTok, like even like within the sense of IG too. Like if yeah. we compare him to someone, 
I'd say he is like comparable to like Debbie, um, or I think like Sagittarius, like Shadi, and like all those like other people too, you know, just like blowing up out of like, you know. So do you think? Like, do you think? Do you think he's gonna con like? Do you think he's still gonna be um, uh, sell hot for the next like couple years, or do you think he's gonna fall off? I feel like he'll be big in Toronto too, just like how like Debbie was big because. Even when you think about it too, like Debbie was only big like within Toronto. He wasn't uh she wasn't like really big like anywhere else too, you know. So I feel like city wise, like Long Tendo will be a popular like household name. Yeah. But I don't think he'll be like within the same fame as like someone from like the States or like all of the world. If I can like give if I if I can compare him to like someone else too, I could really compare him to like I don't know if you know like A Town. Like the birds are chirping. Like he was like a vi viral, like I think Vine IG star back in like 2015, 2016. Uh, birds chirping. No, so A Town. So he has like a song called "Like the Birds Are Chirping," where he says like "Good morning to you." The birds are chirping. So and A Town is like a guy with like a disability too. I think he has like a issue with his kidney, and I think some no. other like factors as well too. So I've never, I've never heard of him. I know what you mean too. Yeah, like I know just like with Vine, TikTok, IG, like some of like the people like around like only become famous for a certain amount of time. Um and then tend to fall out too. Like like even like I could like even say he's like similar to the guy that says like these like nuts and all that, like Welvin. So long tendo would be compared to someone like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yo. Um as far as like sports uh going on and all that too, I don't know if you've like managed like tapping with like the Olympics or UEFA and all that. Um, like the uh, Euro League. Yeah, like the the Euro Cup and like even with the Olympics uh, right now too. Uh, well, I have I have watched the Euro. I have I was able, I was able to try. I tried my best to watch all the games, but I think I missed like five one two games, but. Because of my work, because you know how like some of the games are like out of the time zone, so so majority of the games on Euro Cup is like early in the morning, unless it's like games at three o'clock or two o'clock. So, well, yeah, I mean, uh, when I like usually I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Every time I watch Euro Cup, my 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 team I go with is was is with Italy, like that that's who that's who I go with, right? But when I see in um, Spain, uh, the way Spain played, and on top of that, they were saying, oh, they have a kid that's like 16 years old. I was like, so when I watched him, he, he doesn't look 16. His style, everything, he doesn't look 16, bro. The man looks like he's well-seasoned, like a well-seasoned player, like 25. Let's say 25, broski. But he's 10 years younger than that. Son. 10 years younger than that, he's playing like, whoo, he's playing like Messi, Mape, all those like high class players. So yo, bro, sixteen. That's scary, dog. That is scary, bro. Oh my god. I don't know if you watched it, but like I could actually play. Like he's he's yeah. really he's really good. Yeah. Especially the other guy. His name is Nico too. If it wasn't for those two guys, Spain would have no chance. Yeah. And like I said, I was watching right the other team. They couldn't like. Because Spain, in general, is a good team, right? Like, it's been a good team for, like, for a long time, like, forever, right? So, because they, they know how to control the field. They, they're good with the ticky tacks, Like, you know what I'm saying? They know how to attack. They know how to control the field. But what makes them even more dangerous is when they have, like, those one, two superstars. Like, which is always, like, you know what I'm saying? Which is all players. Whoever has a team, like, one, two superstars on top of that, it's okay, but if your team is good in general, and then on top of that, you got two superstars, that's a threat. That's a really big threat. And they proved, like, they proved that they could ball, they could play. Like, they're the only team, bro, that hasn't tied one game in the league. I don't really watch it. The, it was so many ties, so many penalty shootouts. Spain's the only guys that hasn't tied, like, that hasn't tied nothing. Except, uh, I don't know, I think it was England, right, in the finals. Yeah. But to be honest with you, bro, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And it's like they're playing with me, but to be honest with you, bro, they're they're really good, bro. Like, they're 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 really good. They're amazing. You know, I'm, I, I was really proud of them because 
they really play the game like in a high level. It's always fun and exciting to watch a team play at a high level, at a fun level. So I'm really, I'm really happy. But in the end, uh, yeah, bro, it, it was really fun. Yeah. But when it comes to the Olympics, um, no, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I have watched some highlights. You know, I've been watching on social media on some of the interesting things happen. I have not been watching none of it, but I've heard a lot of a lot of bad rumors, a lot of bad things that happened. So I don't know. I don't know about you, but some some were saying that they were mocking the Christian religion. Some were saying that they there was a, a man that was playing as a woman, as boxing. So I don't know, bro. I really don't know. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like, I know for me, like, to be honest, I really didn't, like, tap in with the UEFA Cup uh, this, uh, like, time and all that. I think because, like, I would have expected, like, the same result, too, with France, like, having a chance, too. But turns out Spain winning, which is pretty good, too. Like, I heard, like, Mbappe really didn't have, like, a great year, like, in terms of, like, yeah. the Cup and all that, too. Like, I think he was, like, playing sloppy and all that. and like Injured. They say he was injured, to be honest. Like, yeah. Injured, yeah. So, I don't know. And I felt like there would have been like other op- like open opportunities to see that viral or that crazy moment too. Like I know um the last like viral moment I've heard was like Suarez like a long time ago like biting someone's like uh, ear and all that too. And I think this is like the World Cup like back then. And then like I think even the last time I was like tapped into like anything soccer related was like the last like a uh, World Cup. And that was like a little bit like more exciting too. Like just seeing the matches and, like, everything else, too, and, like, Messi, like, uh, you know, winning uh, the cup uh, for, like, Argentina, too. I feel like with this one, too, it was just kind of, like, a slow burn process, just with, like, finding, like, whatever's, like, needed to. But I feel like it wasn't really as exciting as I would have expected to, just from the highlights and everything else, too. Like, I feel like we're probably not going to get that until, like, it's, like, the cu- the World Cup or anything else, too. As far as the Olympics, there were some interesting things that had happened. I mean, um, I think one of the players from like Team USA was stripped of like the bronze medal due to some situation that happened, and then uh, also like the whole man woman situation, like that was like another factor too. There were like some good memes, like you know, within the shooting thing that they had, and then also the whole like Snoop Dogg situation too, where he was like carrying like the torch and him being a part of like the commentary for the twenty twenty four Paris Olympics. So that was like pretty interesting too, but. Yeah, it's I would have expected like the same results too, you know, with certain teams like winning over other teams and all that too. So yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's really it's really yeah, that's really it's really interesting. It's really it's really um but yeah, man, to be honest with you, it, it was sad. I didn't get to watch anything, but at least I did watch some of the highlights, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, especially when it comes to Ethiopian Marathon. Um, they did say we weren't like that. We didn't take that much gold, to be honest. Like we did take yeah. silver, but we took some some gold. But I don't know, man. It's always next time, right? Yeah, no, exactly. I feel like there would be like another chance too. I think it's just like many factors. Um, I actually um uh, had a classmate like a long time ago, back in like middle school, that is actually playing for uh, the uh, Paris Olympics too in rugby, and she's been killing it so far with um the rugby the rugby games like happening because she plays for Team Canada, so. Like, I have seen her, like, play, like, during those times, too. Like, you know, on the TV and all that. So, like, I think she did, like, do well in her part, like, for her team. So, shout out Charity. Like, hope she's, like, watching this, too, either way. It's, either way. So, but, yeah, like, I think um a lot of other factors that did happen, uh even with, like, Team USA, like, with basketball and all that, too. Like, they've been, like, sweeping, like, everyone so far, too, with uh Katie, Steph, LeBron, like, all these other people. So, it's like kind of amazing to see that. So yeah, yeah, that's fun. That's really yeah. fun, bro. It's really, really, really interesting. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, we just only have a couple more topics too. I don't. This one might be like a little bit more controversial too. But uh, so the Southport stabbings that happened in like England. So for those who didn't know, there was like I think a young kid from like Rwanda, like I think it was like fourteen or fifteen, like came to like a party stabbed like a bunch of like little girls to like death and all that and there were conspiracies like around it saying the person was like muslim which led to like a lot of like riots like happening like in the uk and 
I've seen it like on like some parts of like Reddit and like all that type and, of stuff too. And they also say he was nine years old, right? I think so. Like the little kids and all that, or the person with the knife. Like the yeah, the person that died was nine years old. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Oh shoot. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, because like I think some of the victims. I mean, they were white from what I've heard in that sense, too. So like the vic wait, 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 the victim was white or. So like the perpetrator, like the person who killed the people yeah. was Rwandan, like a young Rwandan kid. I think he was like 15 or 16 or something, or something like that. He's, and, like he's, he's the one I did the killer. Yeah, I could like find a photo for a bit too. So just, <clears throat> just give me one quick sec. I wasn't able to um, search it up. It was sending me some next level thing. It, it was telling me some nine year old victim got stabbed. Yeah, give me a sec. So this is the suspect. I think. Uh, oh. He's the one that got stabbed? No, this is like the suspect too. So, I think uh, this is like what you're talking about. So, last yeah. uh, photo of Southport victim nine at Taylor Swift event as hundreds uh, line for streets, line streets funeral. So, I think uh, this is like the person that they talked to. So this yeah, had to yeah, be like the, the girl, the girl, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that is, that is that why they're saying that the riot started. Uh, I think he just like randomly like went to that place. And like just like stab them from what I've heard too. Like I've yet to read more, but I think uh it was just something you know, like a lot of people also deal with like mental health uh, issues. So like I'm assuming that kid, like that person that did commit the crime, probably had some issues, probably noticed the music connected to something and then stabbed those people. Like it was just kind of random too, which was like surprising as well, too. But it brought like so much public outrage too, because like a lot of these like victims were mainly like white and all that like even when you look at like the images yeah like all three of these like little girls were primarily like white so yeah it is kind of interesting and sad too and like the perpetrator being black so yeah it is kind of crazy and like how it spreads to something as like dangerous like even with the uk too with you know, people of color like being attacked like by white people like on the streets and all that too. So yeah, yeah, that's really sad, bro. Yeah, but how do you like even feel about that uh, right now too with the riots and all that type of stuff? Yeah, man. To be honest with you, like I'm not gonna lie, bro. What whatever is happening in the world, any small, any small little thing could spark anything. Think about it. Any little thing. Cause right now the whole world is burning, right? So. It's like the more fuel is added, the more it expands. The more it continues, the more it will keep burning. So what's happening in the uh, UK, on top of that, right, like top of what? It's like, uh, it's like, a, you know, he uh, her, he's Muslim, right? The person like that was Muslim? I think so. I have to double check, actually. So imagine that, bro. Like, that's... That's going to be like, whoo, that's going to be hot. And people, people, people are going to go crazy. Like, because right now, no, no one is doing nothing. Like the whole, the most powerful nation, the most richest nation are doing nothing to, to help to stop what's going on with these two, uh, with these two nations. So think about it, bro. And on top of that, when other things are continuing, other things are happening, what the frick? The people are going to snap. They're going to go psycho. Yeah. They're going to lose it, bro. Because some there's people out there that want to live in peace. They want to live in like they want to live just to chill. Like they like, oh okay. They just they just want to like live like live like you know what I'm saying? Like everyday life. Like go work, get money, you know what I'm saying, go back to their family, you know what I'm saying, get entertained. Right? But now that's that's considered luxurious as we speak. Like right now. Before it was that's considered that's considered basic a necessity. But now that's considered a luxurious thing where you can't, like, where you could go to work, right? That is going on. Go back to your family, you know, eat dinner, eat lunch, sleep at pee. But now you can't do that, bro. It is crazy. It is outrageous. Yeah. 
I feel like with the current situation right now, I think they're trying to make it as like something as like Palestine too with oh. different groups like attacking each other for like no reason to. The only like difference is that there's like no bombs, like nothing like that, like being used as like arsenal too. And it's more like rocks. It's more like, you know, whatever you could use for hands too. And like a lot of the people that are doing the attacking are coming from like more rural parts of the UK too. So like a lot more like from like Scotland and like Wales and like Brist- Bristol and like all these other, other parts too. So with that, like, you don't really have, like, a lot of, like, resources to knowing about different cultures and, like, knowing about d- different groups of people, like, unless you have the internet and everything else, too. So, like, they'll have, like, the perceived notion that, you know, that this common race or this common, like, religion is, like, the enemy, too. So they're using that as a tactic to kind of justify, like, what's, like, going on, too, with what happened at that event, like, what what happened at that thing, too. So I feel like the only way that it could stop is that if there is like someone within like the public light that i think everyone like truly respects and admires to kind of put a cease to like what's going on there and hopefully it does work out and all that you know yeah i hope like right now this is right now we should be in a time like for all the religious for religious people you know i'm saying to like you know to pray you know i mean to not give up to have faith to have faith in god you know i'm saying and if and for the non-religious people Right for non-religious people, you know what I mean. Just like you know, live at peace. Try to live at peace. Don't like you know. Don't try to do nothing like outrageous, like out of the ordinary. Like you know what I'm saying. Cause think about it. You don't gotta be religious to like love each other. You know what I'm saying. But like work with each other or or be at peace with each other. You don't have to be religious. You know. You, you, that's 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 just the way of life. It's like work with each other. You know what I'm saying? Find a way to find a way to like build some, like you know, build some and just you know, and live right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's facts, man. And I mean, the only way to come together is is like through peace, and you know, even through prayer too. You know, like as you mentioned, I think like when we all come together like in one accord and all that, like that works better than like anything else too, because with what's going on too like even like how like racism like was formed and like other factors too it was like based on like the socioeconomic status of how like the one percent is creating that division between like working class people of different backgrounds different like races too because initially with even like with the whole like white and black racism uh too like i think in the 1800s 1900s all started with the bourgeoisie you know telling these folks that you know the reason that you're in this way of like economic like failure and you know and poverty and all that too is because that they're taking their jobs like from by they they meant like black people and all that and it caused like a little bit of an uproar where segregation like really had to be formed and that's how it kind of like you know became like a thing too with you know, only certain people going to like certain wash certain restaurants, whites only, blacks only, all that type of stuff too. All from like the work of the bourgeoisie too. And like we're definitely gonna see that too with the UK, with how other races are gonna have like a white only or fully British like only like places versus, you know, like Muslim only, all that type of stuff too. So it is kind of crazy, you know. So Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, man. Uh, we just only have like this like one piece too and like i think it's like just kind of more of like an opinion piece too like i know like even with creating like content and everything else too like the way to create content it is there are like a lot of factors like involved too and like i feel like we're at a point where we're at the end near of how we create content too so do you ever feel like creating like content is like dead like in a sense and all that uh what do you say create content um is it like ideas or I'd say, like, you know, whenever you form the idea of, like, creating content, it's, like, whatever piece, like, you want to work on, whether it's creating, like, a podcast episode or creating, like, a YouTube video or doing, like, everything else, too, because, like, I feel like we're at a point where it becomes, like, oversaturated with how people create content and, you know, people are just using the same ideas, like, same tactics, tactics too. Like, even, like, when you go on YouTube you're going to see 20 V one, or you're going to see like another like documentary being made too, or 
like other stuff being like made like on YouTube, like cooking videos and all that type of stuff too. And you know, it's just like the same ideas, same like practices, like same formats too. So I feel like we're at a point where you know there is like no creative aspect to creating content anymore and all that. So well, I mean I mean when you if you say it like that, um I mean it's like it's like it's like fifty fifty, right? Because when you think about it, right? Um, for example, cause us personally, we don't know what's behind the closed doors, right? What's 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 uh really going on between those content creators or those people that's doing it, like you know? Cause like like we did talk about, it, it could like you know there might be something going on, like you know what I'm saying? Cause Right now, what we doing right now is it's 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 amazing, right? Because we're talking about what's going on in the world, and we and we're spitting facts, like we're spitting our own opinion. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes some people are not allowed to do that. Like think about it. if we, if we if we if we were doing this back home, or we probably be go jailed, or we probably go to like we probably die. You know what I'm saying? So us personally, I really don't think content is dying. It's just that, um. There's so many rules happening. Like, there's so many things going on in a live situation. So, that's really taking us apart of what was, like, of being creative. So, content, to be honest with you, content never dies, bro. Like, it really doesn't die unless something's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, for sure. Like, we, like, for example, yeah, you're right. So, like, if it's doing something every day, it might get annoyed or it might be like, yo, this guy said they said it, said the same thing, but yo, bro, if you could do the same thing better, why not? Why not do the same thing better, fam? Because yeah. it's it's like it's like perfecting your art. You know, it's all about perfecting art. So for all my people that's watching this, for everyone that's watching this, yo, do not do not say content is dying. Like, do not give up. Like, you know, what I'm saying, I'm telling you, like it's it's hard for me coming from me because I haven't been consistent with my stuff. But like I said, like. If you have issues, family issues, life issues, or like mental issues, like don't give up. Like just take care of yourself first. Take care of what's happening and get back to it. And, and they did say it. There's a quote saying, "Don't never give up." Giving up is basically considering quit. You know what I'm saying? So if you're going through life situations or whatever, but if you don't give up, you have succeeded. That is what that is what success is. Not giving up, no matter what life situation you're in you know what i'm saying so that is something that i i'm trying my best to perfect on is to never give up and it's to it's to keep going in life no matter what so yeah content content creator i i don't believe content creator is dying it's just that it's getting more more serious it's getting more realistic right because it's getting more realistic people people are getting attached to it so they have setting rules, regulations to control the content. So I really don't believe content is dying. It's just that it's being regulated. So I think regulating is a better word. Yeah, content. definitely agree too. And I mean, even add on with the whole like, regulation situation, I mean, monetization has become like more of a stricter process than ever too. Like I've never really had to experience that too because of like my subscriber counts. And like other factors as well too so i'm i am like kind of like looking into that and like i think because like back then too it was easier to monetize your content and to actually make money off your content too but like now it's like you have to be in a partner program now it's like you have to figure out keywords you have to figure out ways to kind of make the content work to get people to follow that brand and everything else too and like just like many things as well too like even like posting on social media with tiktok instagram like facebook like even with Facebook too and Instagram in Canada, there are like a lot of like strict conditions too. Because if your page is like an actual like news site, you know they can like block the access to it. So you like how with CP twenty four and CTV and CBC, you can't really like watch that content too because you know the Canadian government government doesn't really like allow that in a sense too. Yeah. So now they have to find like other avenues on how they can portray content too and like. It could even be it could even be like the same with like Twitter too, like on how Elon is like handling the situation too, because oh. now I think they're having like talks of making like Twitter's like a, a subscriber based like platform where you would you would have to pay a fee to like go on Twitter, tweet, and all that. Absolutely. Ooh. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. 
and I do feel like you know it's like whatever works and all and all that too because now you're gonna have to create as like much videos and like much content to even get like one k subscribers or like five hundred subscribers having like enough like watch time hours and like everything else too. So there are like a lot of like factors that come in like just like even as like even with like real talk so uh, yt do you feel like you've managed to gain success success like in a way to where people are like viewing your content people like you're getting like enough like watch hours like short watch hours all that type of stuff uh to be honest with you not really i mean but i can't blame it because i personally do not think i put in the effort in order to get that type of attention but I believe, but what I personally believe is if I drop enough content, I probably will get that attention. But until now, no. So I really will blame myself, right? Because, well, I do, uh, for funny thing is, it's, it's, it's really interesting because when you drop content where it's like part of the trend, people will watch it. But if it's like yours, right, if it's your own thing, you have to continue. Like, like it, of course, it is so, like, depressing, like, so down. Like, you you feel, I feel, like, me personally, I feel so down when I don't, when I only get, like, two views, two, three views. Because I'm speaking my ass out. Like, I'm speaking of what's real. Like, what, my experience of, of those certain things that I'm, that I'm witnessing, right? So, it's like, of course, like, I feel, I feel, I feel, like, uh emotionally like depressed when I don't get that type of view but they say it's like to continue because in the end that is your own creation so if you feel if you feel down or you don't feel down that's you you know what I'm saying so you gotta keep like me personally I really I gotta keep pushing until I get that audience will be like yo that's it real talk to YT you know speaking that yeah. facts about crypto think about facts about life you know what i'm saying yeah. boom 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 so i'm just you know of course you know i am waiting for that waiting for that time but of course it can happen anytime you know what i'm saying so yeah that's that is that is something that i am waiting for to be honest yeah no nah, like the same for me too like even like when i post something on ig or like when i check my ig like when you lose like followers too like that does like kind of hit different too because yeah like if you're like creating like a platform like you're trying to get people to like tap into your content you know like it is like hard for people to connect to because there are reasons why people like unfollow why people don't want to like tap in because like they might not like your content like that too and they probably don't want to see it like every single day and all that and like interactivity as well too and other factors so it's just like all right what do i have to do to kind of make content work like what can i do to kind of recreate like those like same views again and all that so it's just like going back to the drawing board like figuring out like what to do and like seeing what works and all that so yeah absolutely absolutely yeah. That's uh, cool. so um i know we're at like our last peak uh right now but uh do you have any like closing rem remarks you'd like to say or anything that you have uh going on next um um i did say right i, I didn't fall back on my videos probably like a month or two but i i am i am i will be dropping videos because there's a lot of interesting things happening right now in the crypto world and i'd like to discuss about it so for all my crypto people that have been watching my videos let it be the five people or the 10 or the 100 people that watch my videos i will i will be coming back and i will be um saying some some cool thing that was happening in the crypto world. But other than that, I really appreciate my time with uh, Yasu for bringing me back on the uh, on the podcast scene. And I hope, like I said, we'll always say, I hope that we continue to do this forever, to be honest. Likewise, yo. Yeah, um, pleasure having you back on again, too. Like, we're going to be uh, more consistent with it, like with the content, too. Hopefully, we can make this like a weekly or bi-weekly thing and all that, so... Let's uh, definitely tap in on that. And, yo, this is, uh, I think, episode 97 or just, like, another episode of TOY Talks. You know, as I said, you can get this, like, on all platforms, Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Buzzsprout, Patreon, like, like much more and all that. Tap into, like, all platforms. Tap into Yom of Real Talks, YT, you know, for the crypto knowledge and everything else, too. And, yeah, like, definitely tap in. And, like, yo, this is, like, episode 97 of TOY Talks. Signing off, you know. Peace, peace.